Hello you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome back to Foundation. What is this? I thought you ended this series, John T. Well, uh, having, looked, uh, looked, having a look over some of the comments in the last few episodes, I've uh, I realised that I was uh, missing a couple of things, and I think we're back on top of some stuff now. Okay, so uh, basically, there, I completely forgot there was a big storm. I, I, know, I knew it was raining, but I completely forgot that that was like an event. Uh, and a few people said that the big storm will completely destroy your... Um, your gathering and and, uh, and growing and stuff like that. So so all your food was and that was kind of killing us really. No food, um, and that was what the big problem was. And I, I I forgot that it was like an event that we had to get through. Um, and it finished, and I was like, oh okay, maybe we can carry on. So we're still not fixed. I won't lie. You know, we, we've got a little bit of profit coming in, but it ain't much. Okay, um, but I do think that. Uh, we can probably carry on here looking at some of the stuff that we've learned. Thank you very much for all the comments. So, uh, first of all, fishing huts. Finally got them fixed now. So, ladder goes to the water. That's how we get boats, okay? So now I know I've built two down here and I built them right by the there. And we now have the 59 fish in stock. Perfect. We also have a load of berries and I don't actually mind that because a lot of the... Um, the little emissary guys who turn up here asking for stuff want berries, so I'm more than happy to kind of say, yeah, okay, you can, you can take berries. People are deciding to stay. Look, two are passing by. They decided to join your village. So I definitely think uh, we can start to uh, maybe fix uh, fix some of our problems. We have clothes. There's nothing really that we're really short on. Cheese isn't even being used yet. But we have plenty of it. Um, so. This is good. So what we're going to do is try and build up on this. Um, one of the main things, apparently, for earning money and really getting uh, further on in the game is this one here, the Army Manager, okay? Um, now, the Army Manager, uh, they don't have any swords, you see. So what we need to do is get some swords. Now, we can buy swords. I'm not going to promote anybody just now. Um, we're going to buy swords... Uh, we could buy swords, sorry, but we, we want to start working towards being able to make swords because they're going to sell well and also, obviously, you know, our own uh, our own little folks will be having uh, them available. So the sword process is quite a long process, if I'm honest with you. Uh, we start up here, a weaponsmith, produce swords from iron, coal, and tools. Okay, so coal is made with a coal hut. It's not actually a mine, it just takes wood. So that's fine. Okay, we can put that down pretty much anywhere to make coal. So that's fine. Iron, we do need a mine. Okay, so produce iron ore in exchange uh, for, um, you know, time and effort. So iron ore is coming from the mine. We then need to smelt that iron in a smelter. Um, and then a blacksmith can produce tools from there. So some of the iron has got to go to blacksmith. Some of the iron has got to go to the weaponsmith. Uh, but overall, that should eventually... Now, whether we get all the way there, I don't know. But we are going to start with a coal hut. So, uh, looking at iron. Iron mine. It does show us here, then, that we have one over here that's just a little bit out of the village. Uh, but that pretty much is the closest one, unfortunately. There's one way over there. And unless I'm missing one... Um, yeah, looking at it, yeah, that is that is the closest one. So we're going to have to open that up there. Look, here we go. We have an envoy. So I'm going to click you because Mary often... Oh, 20 fish this time. That's fine. I'll take that. I'm taking these mostly because they give you 200 cash as well, um, which is pretty useful. So we'll do people this time. I don't think any of them particularly needed here on the, on the estate manager. Let's have a look. So we've got no uh, trade bonus gets twenty percent with villages of allegiance. So okay, I need twenty there. So that's good. We'll have those. I mean, open that. Sure, trade bonus. Why not? Uh, we need citizens for that one. We need citizens for that one. Okay, so we've got a trade bonus there to unlock, and that is actually it. Then then we need to then we're working on citizens. Okay, uh, that's fine. So deliver twenty fish. We don't. Do we now have no fish here? We have 18 fish. I would like to accept fish, please. Accept fish. And in fact, the easiest way to do this now is to just stockpile fish. Because there's 100 fish there. But I'm assuming they're sat in between the fisher uh, hut and, uh, and down here. There's 50 fish sat in the market, which is good. Because that's getting all these people uh, the food that they want there. They've got berries and bread. I don't really know who's eating fish, but that's fine. People are buying it, right? Let's have a look. One fish sold. So, some, you know, people are buying fish. That's fine. So when we've got 20 fish there, we'll knock those out and, and then unstockpile them. But we are going to have to buy some land. Let's just double check. This is the iron here. Okay. 
So, if we come into here, iron mine. I reckon this plot of land, it's a little far away, but we can definitely uh, start to build up a new village here, I think, which is, was always the original plan anyway, uh, that will become uh, the, the the crew and the, where all the people are going to work for the iron uh, and eventually weapon production. Okay. So, uh, territory. It's one of these. There we go. So we definitely need that one. These are going to cost us 500 gold each. I mean, that one would be... Yeah, we're going to have to go that one. That's the one. And then we build a village here eventually. Okay. So, here we go. Iron mine. Needs to come right here. I mean, how's this word? Do they go down there, do they? Also, in that case, you really want it over the top of the, of the iron, huh? Boom. Now, that will probably take a little while to build. So, what I'm trying I'm trying to think of where the coal can go because really we could do with a um, a separate wood operation for the coal, maybe even here. We could do that. So, the other thing is we're going to need some more people to turn up because we have nobody to work in any of this at the moment. So, I'm going to go for a, a lumber camp here. Lumber camp here. That, that will feed a coal hut here. Okay, so hopefully we can keep that sort of on its own footing. People have started to make paths here, that's neat. Look at that, you can actually see them forming, that's so cool. Such a neat feature. I know a few games have done that now. Ostrieve is the other one, the one that comes to mind. I think it's such a neat little feature. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to paint them in there. Like I say, I'd love to be able to make all of this area here path, you know. But I guess not. Uh, okay. We now have the fish. So we'll do that. And we'll stop, stop signing fish. There we go. Okay, so the lumber camp's complete. We have some people who can work these. I'm just going to put one on each for now. They're getting built. So this will give us the coal and the iron, which then needs to be smited, smelted and smort, uh, which I'll probably put over here. New military mission is available, so we need we need swords though, we need swords. We can't do anything without our swords. Um, so we'll hold on there. I can put three in there for now. This is the big one though, let's have a look at this, here we go. They're waiting on tools. Yeah, tools would be great because at the moment we are having to trade tools, so that's extra money that we could do without. I know that the, the buildings themselves will cost a little, but uh, that needs 10 tools as well. We definitely keep tools in stock for this kind of thing. It would be really good if we could produce our own. Pass the cows here. They did a great job. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of wheat getting produced. Yeah, check all that. Check out our wheat. Where is our wheat? There it is. 20 wheat. Oh, not much, actually. No. Maybe we'd have more than that. We could redo with these with these few logs cleared. In fact, yes, because of course, these folks here won't have anywhere to extract. So let's give them this bit of extraction here. Right. There we go. And then the lumber, because at the moment they'd be walking here and then going all the way over there, but now they should come and clear this area. I mean, eventually, obviously, we'll give them this big space here. And maybe even this big space here. And we can maybe look at putting some residential houses there. But to start off with, I think you're going to have to clear that bit out there. Iron mine is done. That's good. Okay, so let's get... We can have five people in there. Wow, well, we've got three, so that's fine. Let's have three people in there. Let me just check these residential zones. Yeah, I think uh, I think this here, this obviously is never going to be. Uh, oh, that's the that's the farm. Sorry. Uh, well, I'll tell you what then. Let's let's uh, un let's just unpaint that. Sorry, I know you're going to have to start again. But let's just unpaint that. In fact, keep it this side of the uh, of the path. I know that means you have to start again. I'm sorry. But hopefully you'll be able to come down here once these trees are gone. Because now we'll have all of this 
here. This is relatively prime real estate here, I think. And they'll cut the trees down as they as they need to, won't they? So let's make all of that. I mean, it's average, at high and average desirability. So yeah, you might find that people start to move in there, and obviously we'll take it round here as well. Um, we have one guy who can start working charcoal. There we go. So here, though, you just come to work. Where are you going to go then? You're going to come down to here? Oh, no. Free time. Sorry. Let's have a look. You're just chilling. Okay. You're chilling. You. You're on free time. You. I am working. Okay. So where are you working? Here we go. No, you're on free time as well. Nice. Okay. Uh, two decides to join. That's give us a hundred. Okay. Cool. Let's give us the 100. They're all on their free time. That's fine. She's going to get a drink. Where's her house? Ah, of course. We need to make them surf. To, they, they, newcomers will not buy houses, will they? They'll, they'll sit around here all day. Is that right? I never quite, not quite understood the whole difference between surfs and commoners and all that. But yeah, I think. Let's have a look. Right. Female. You are a newcomer. Yeah, so all these, all of you need to become serfs, and now you'll all, you'll all start to build houses now, right? I think. There's, oh no, that was fields. I was going to say, there's some space. Yes, there we go. Right, okay. Right, I'm starting to, I think I'm starting to get my head around this now. They need, they need space nearby where they work to build houses okay and then we can help them out by then building little markets and stuff in the center of those houses that will provide the stuff they need so we'll here we'll have a small market that sells berries because that's pretty much all um serfs need 37 minutes from home that's fantastic look they want berries they want water and they want some religion so we'll have a little church um, and a market stall and a well and, they, and they'll be happy there, they live in their little part and they'd never have to come over to this part of town because they've just got no use for it but then eventually all of this here these will all start to, to sort of gentrify up right, because they have their, their sir, their, let's have a look their novices so they want bread and religion okay alright but yeah, here we go. We have a little village starting here. And all these people, these are going to be the staff from here, I'm sure. There we go. Let's get some iron made. What have we got in stock here? Look. Iron. Iron ore. Coal. So what I'm tempted to do then is build a warehouse here that handles all of this stuff to stop people having to walk it all through town. So. Uh, here we go. Warehouse. Um, let's build it here. There we go. And then we'll buy this bit of land eventually, and, and we'll, this is where we'll make the village. I don't want to make it. I want. I want this. These few houses that are coming up here eventually to be the outskirts of the uh, of the larger area. Uh, Invoy, let's go. I don't ever, never, 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 missed you. Ooh, oh, you swine! I've got berries for you as well. I bet it was berries. Bet it was berries you you wanted, wasn't it? There we go. House is going up. This is great. So let's have a look. Mail one zero nine two. Uh, you want berries? You want water? And you want religion? And you're a miner. Okay, good. So let's fill all these out with staff. There, so the miner's full there. We can probably have some more people making coal. That's good. Where do you live? Perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm starting to get my head around this now. Um, we'll cut level one. Yeah. I actually want some. Yeah. So you're full. You're full. So we're making coal and iron ore at the moment, but no, nothing really else. But that's fine. That's fine. So the next thing we need to do is... Um, so we've got iron ore and we've got coal coming in. So we need to smelt. 
we need to smelt said ore. Now, this red bar here is going to drop desirability down quite a bit, so I'm tempted, actually, to place this up by the mine. Yeah, I think we'll place this up by the mine here. Keep that sort of a little bit out of the way. Not such a nice area, right? How's this going? That just needs some stone. Oh, that's no problem. And then we'll put we'll put all this these resources here, so so people are moving them around correctly. I think that's the uh, that's the way to go. These cows need to clear off a bit. Can you come back down here, please, cows? I wonder if we can actually fence the cows in using the fence pieces. That, that, that could be something to play around with. There we go. Um, oh, oh no, that, what was you saying? Oh, two people here. Come, that's fine. Now they can be the workers of the of this. So, you've took wood to there. Perfect. That's good. It's got a full wood sat there. Maybe we don't need this then, but oh, it's alright, we'll do it. So, you're going to hold on to uh, coal, you're going to hold on to iron ore, you're going to hold on to iron eventually, and then also you can store, um, well, for, it's going to be ta it's going to be tools, isn't it? Because they're the, they're the th Iron, tools, and coal are the three things we need to make weapons. So you can store those. We have no villages available for work at the moment. No villages available for work? That seems wrong. Female. There's two people who can work here. Right, there we go. I was going to say, we've just had two people turn up with no job. Okay, how's this wood going? Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, we're definitely making some more more green uh, space here. That's fine. Somebody's got a little house down here. That's cute. I'm hoping that's going to be uh, fishers, fishermen. Yeah, okay, good stuff. The two fishermen live there. They're pretty happy. They can get to uh, a well there, and they can get to that there. So we have two wells here. So I am going to contemplate removing one of them for one in between them and halving our costs there okay because we're still not really into major profit like we'd like to be major profit um which is a bit of an issue okay feels not like they're doing all right let's have a look but i mean numbers wise we've got good stock of everything so I think we're producing correctly. Maybe even too much, I don't know. So there's coal and iron ore there now then. So we haven't, this is the smelter going off, right? Two decided to join. This is great, people are joining. People are happy. I can't believe I didn't, I completely forgot that that big storm was um, was was like a, a gameplay thing and it wasn't just that we were unlucky with the weather and it, it did actually, but you know, it was actually uh, a, <laughs> Uh, part of the gameplay and it was meant to be something tough that we had to get through. I completely forgot that that's what was happening there. Okay. How are we doing here? Is this, is this church full? Yeah, 51 of 51. I'm going to maybe stick on a, a thing here. Let's have a look. Or, hmm, this costs a lot of money, doesn't it? That's any problem. I think I'd rather a little, little one like this. Up and out of the way. How does this one get on? I mean, that's nearly full. Yeah, I think I think that's the way to do it, though, is to have the big church there, but then have little ones outside. We've still got monasteries and all sorts of things that we that we haven't really uh, thought about just yet. Where the monastery is going to? I don't know. We could always do it on the island over here. That could be neat. I quite like the idea of having it up on the hill here as well, though. I could spread it that way. How are we getting on here? We need some tools. This is great. This is great. Once we once we get tools being made, that, that's one of the major trade points that we're having to spend money on at the moment. So that'll make a big difference here. Although we haven't actually spent look. It's our cost and income. Trade's always positive. Trade pretty much at the moment is our income. Because the because the income from the village and the cost of the village is equal. So the only really way we're gonna fix that is by not expanding any of this. 
See, this one here, look, this tavern at 60. I don't think anyone uses this tavern. Zero of 16 attendance at the minute. I don't, I think I've maybe built that too early. I actually got rid of half of it to try and cut costs down. We actually had a bridge going over to here. But I think I might have, uh, might have, yeah, perhaps built that a little bit too early. So. Let's just clear that spot there. Let's do that for now. Just in case anyone who works over this way wants to get on it. There we go. Iron smelter is done. That's good. Uh, we've got two people we can put in there. Cool. So they need coal and iron ore to produce iron. That's fine. We have that. We have both of those things. So we also have loads in stock now as well. Um, promote to surf. Yes, we want to promote. Yes, all, all need to get promoted to surf because they're going to build houses, right? So I'll tell you what we'll do then. Let's let's give them somewhere to build houses. Let's just go for it. We're going to buy that. Okay. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to pause the game for a minute just so we can make sure we do this right. So residential. So we're going to make all of this. Basically all of this here. A huge residential estate that will soon, I tell thee, become a fantastic little suburb that that looks after all of this area here so we can come right up here loads of space to build in no issues at all all the way over here that's fine okay so in the dead center of this area i want to i want to keep that on for a moment if i can there we go dead center of this area we're going to place a well 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 there we go and we're going to place a market as well so, there's, um, oh, that's uh, one of these buildings, right? It's monument buildings. Uh, market. So, we're going to do a food store. We're just going to do a couple of food stalls, I think. I don't think most of the people here are going to want much else. So, food stall. Um, they don't need, like, clothes or anything here. It's, it's kind of crazy. So, we're just going to put two food stalls in. Just give them, like, berries and fish. Although, I think they only really want berries to be honest. Do so like that. We have cloth, right? I don't want to hold the building up because of cloth. We've had that problem before. We have 51 cloth, that's fine. Uh, I think I prefer the red one. Red and blue is are my favourite ones, I reckon. Um, so goods, no, food stall, where is it? Food stall sign here. There we go. Come on in. Get yourselves something nice. And then we'll have a few benches around the well as well. Well, well, well. To kind of create this little town square. There we go. Nice and open. Uh, and start the construction of that. Okay, so there's the market and the well. And that'll mean people don't build there. But now, we should start seeing, I imagine, the houses popping up. And also, that was going to improve the desirability of that in a big way. And it'll eventually feed out into all of this here, where people, this is going to be our, my, our weaponizing district, you know. I think that'll work out quite nicely. Oh, we've missed a little bit of paint there. Let's just fix that. Oh, look at that. The residential stuff is already starting to be improved because of the possibility of that. We see houses coming in here. This is going to be a really nice place to come and live. Oh, yes, yes. I was going to be a big fan of living in my new little village. That's good. Building this complete house, yeah, that's good. So we just need we're gonna need people to work in this market, but otherwise this is gonna be Yeah, like I said, I think I've started to figure this game out now. <laughs> it's took a while. So 
Uh, well, I, I realise that iron ore and coal is sat there because it isn't really doing much. But we've got tools being produced there. That's great. So, let's come up to uh, trade because at the moment we're trading tools in. So, no trade on. Actually, sell all above 40. We'll, we'll make some money on these tools now. Um, also, iron ore. There's no reason why we can't sell some of this as well. So, if we set this to always keep 70... And anything above that will sell. And do you know what? We'll do the same with coal. Um, so anything above 70 coal, uh, you can sell. I mean, whether or not we actually shift much of this, I don't know. We'll say anything over 60 iron ore, you can sell that as well. Whether people are even buying it, look. Uh, it, it will be here if they are, but yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't think anyone actually is doing it. We need some common clothes in stock to open up that trade route. Let's do that. Um, do we have common clothes sat anywhere? Common clothes there, yeah. Except, well, it should be there, shouldn't it? So can we just stockpile for a moment? So trade, why? I'm not trade route for 20 common clothes. We should be able to do that then. Uh, we have an envoy. Uh, I shall assist the people is the only one we need to do on, on this to unlock, I think. Five bread. We don't even have any bread in stock. My lordy. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, stockpile bread as well. Houses are getting complete. That's cool. Let's have a look. Are they building where I want them to? Yeah, look at that. Awesome. So, um, let's uh, say that you can be berries and... I mean, we've got loads of cheese, but they're not going to eat it, I don't think. What, what have we got stock of? Fish? Yeah, let's do fish. Berries and fish is what you can buy, okay? Um, there's no market trader. No, that's because we have to do it differently, don't we? We have to come up to here. Um, hold on. Let's just see if we can get... There we go. Let's just do that so we can unstockpile those. Because they're going to buy jewellery, swords, tools, and bread. Fish, clothes. Okay, so... Yeah, nobody's actually buying any of that ore or anything. But, it, you know, that's fine. It's not going to do any harm. Uh, we can now do that and unstockpile the bread as well. Right, okay. Nice bit of gold bumping up there. Uh, so, yes, market players. Sorry, market traders. We need to into here and give them a job this way there's no other way of doing it unfortunately so uh, market 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 tender market tender there we go so up here then everywhere currently iron ore oh no we're not making tools yet they were just stocking the tools there were they oh okay well in that case we very quickly get a tool place up and running and that'll be where we have to finish today I think I'm really glad I'm back into this one because it, it's one of my it, it's probably my favorite game that's out at the moment or that we're playing at the moment um, so iron smelter so blacksmith is tools there we go it's probably a dirty mucky building isn't it but you know it's gonna have to come in here and do what it needs to do there we go let's hope it doesn't affect desirability too much. Mm, starting to get a little ropey. But, to be fair, looking at where we've got the development zone there, it kind of lines up with that perfectly. So I'm okay with that. All this space here for you to move into. We're going to have to have a little church over here, I think. Um, let's do a little church. We've got time. We've got time for a little tiny church. Let's give us something a little bit different shapes this time, though. Let's give us something that way on. Put a door on it. Oh, okay. Uh, is it T? Put a door there. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then we need uh, additional parts, stone extension. Um, I mean, I, I would just like the extension, to be honest. That seems to be enough, but... Basically the same size building, eh? But that's okay. Let's do that. Make sure it's not poking at the back. Put that on there. Uh, I don't 
don't know why angle stop's not working, but that's fine. There. There we go. That's a nice looking building. I th it should. It needs a tower, I think, right? It has a bell tower, yeah. So we've got the stone one or we've got the wooden one. Let's go for the wooden one. And make it, uh, oops. A bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. That's a cool looking, cool looking thing. We'll just do that on there. No, oh, there is a bit of maintenance cost on that, but I, you know, you've got to do something. I mean, to make it look good. Um, and then we'll do some graveyards at the front here. Oh, grave stones even, excuse me. Just a few of those. There we go. Um, let's put a door on the back. Oh, I just want to move that so it's not, uh, not poking through the back there. There we go. Good. Start construction. So that's going to help all these lot out get their, uh, get their religious fix, which they're not getting currently. And it'll also free up this area. I reckon all of these will probably come up here. And maybe these ones won't. But most of these people here will come up to this church. And it'll free up the big church there. Um, which we had to clear out a little bit. Like I say, to earn a bit more money. I got rid of a couple of buildings on the sides of it here. So I may put those back in eventually. As you can see, there's one there. But there needs to be another one on the other side, really. Uh, is that somebody's house there? Oh, no, it's the wheat farm. That's a funny little uh, spot for a house, isn't it? So... I'm going to paint the crop field here. I'm going to take it off that side of the path. I'm going to have to turn some of these off because I'm getting really lost. Uh, hold on. We've got to turn some of this stuff off. Hold on. So what have we got on there? Desirability. Let's turn desirability off a sec. Thank you. There we go. Right. Paint crop fields. Oh, it all starts coming back on again. That's gross. Uh, okay. So we can take this. This can come right up to here now pretty much. There we go. Now we have to sort out the uh, the excavation part of this. That all has to go. Because they're probably running a mile now to get to the plants they want to. And we'll take out all of this here. Open this village up a little. There we go. I don't mind a little foresty village, but I think it's better looking at it that way. That's going on. There is over here. People are happy. Let's get everyone to serve so we get some more homes getting built. We should even see them pop up because everyone who's coming to the village recently um, is working over in this end of town. So there's no reasons why. Now we've got four more serves. We shouldn't see their houses go pop, pop, pop. The only other thing they might do maybe is if they haven't got a job yet, they may come build it in one of these little spots over here. But I feel like you should see it happen. I've not seen it happen, but we should see it happen. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. People are working this. People are working it, female and male. Yeah, there we go. No, uh, no that's the smelter thing. I'm going to fill that in, in a minute, though. So, how many uh, how many people have we got? Uh, sans work. Um, this one here, Good job. We have one, two, three, four, five people unemployed. They're going to be thrown into this thing as soon as it's done. Uh, ah, we may not have tools now. No, we've got 28 tools. I was going to say, we may not have tools because we did cancel the tool uh, purchasing before we had them being created. Church is going up nice. Oh, yeah. I think I finally... He say he says, I think I finally cracked what this game is all about. It took me nine, ten episodes, I guess. But yeah, I think uh, I think the city is reborn. The village is reborn. One decided to join of the two. Very welcome. Money-wise, yeah, tr like I say, look, trade is pretty much saving us right now. 
Um, the actual village itself. Uh, yeah, there's a house going up. Look, the actual village itself is not profitable. People are not spending enough money considering how many there are. But what I'm hoping is now is that we can eventually turn all this into residential with very little work now. Maybe a little market here. All this can be residential um, and there can be homes for the... We can, what we could do is kick the sol soldiers out of here, right? And that will give them houses over here. I think maybe soldiers get free rent, which... which I, guess is okay you know if they're sort of protecting our village kind of makes sense doesn't it but all this real estate that we're not using now is wasting us money because each of these hexagons costs us money per month you see so really now the main reason we spread this way was to open up this mine but now that mine's opened up there's no reason why we can't just keep using this space and get it really so sort of densely populated all of this here could be housing why isn't it housing it is housing, just nobody wants to live there. Fine. Okay. This is real priority. Okay, this will be done now. Blacksmith is about to be finished. Come on. Gwyneth. Where are you, Gwyneth? Gwyneth is on the way to save the day. Bang, bang, bang. Gwyneth is going to be the lady who finishes our blacksmith, I'm sure. There's no way you're not going to let that finish, are you? <laughs> the blacksmith is complete. We're going to set two of you up there, and you will make our tools. Perfect. The military mission available. We're going to start taking those as soon as we've got some weapons. In the meantime, we shall assist the king with some bread. Uh, we have to stop our bread again. But otherwise... Yeah, do you know what? Like a phoenix rising from Jonty's stupid ashes, because he doesn't understand how the game works. Thank you so much for the comments. Thanks for bearing with me. One of the big problems is that these games is that I have to sort of pre-record sometimes and sort of batch record. So sometimes uh, the stuff does go um, a little unnoticed, but I do read every comment and I do really appreciate you taking the time to, to point me in the right direction. I'm glad this one's back on the channel. Hope you are too. Um, thanks for watching. Until the next one, be good.